Up next on Live It Up, it's Maureen Tara Nelson, and she owns MTN Matchmaking. She happens to be the only matchmaker in all of Long Island, and I know she's got uh, offices coast to coast. I'm very excited to have her here. Welcome to the show, Maureen. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I'm very excited. Now, I know that you've been changing things up. Now, yes. you, um, a couple of things you wanted to talk about is your service. Let's talk about that first. Okay. Well, we still offer the same for service for all single quality people that are looking for committed relationships, but my goal is to now take matchmaking to the next level. After 15 years of matchmaking, I want to be more of a resource to my clients. Okay. So I have a couple of new things that we're doing at MTN Matchmaking to do that. And what are those? What, are, what type of services are you offering now? Okay, one of them is as much as I try to be someone's matchmaker and dating coach, there are certain experts in the field that I've been incorporating into my program. So the first one, for example, is a personality expert, Gary Parks. If I think a person can benefit from being even more positive than I could make him or her, then I send them to Gary Parks. We have a styling consultant who is wonderful, Daniel Marone. We have expert photographers, just in case I can't make the photos perfect, then he can do it as well as many other services. That's excellent. Yeah. I, I, I know some of those people actually. I know you do. And what is, what is targeted recruiting? What does that phrase okay. mean to you? Well, over the years, the last three years, I had a program that was called Elite okay. Program. And what it does is it enables me to do targeted recruiting, which means I'm out and about, meeting different people at charity events, at networking events, just so people can feel comfortable and meet with me in person. And lately what I've been doing, and it's had astronomical effects, so I'm stepping it up a pace, is I'm out about three times a week now at those certain type of events for great quality people. And I notice that especially with men, they are very, they're more apt to approach me at one of these events and say, I've always wanted to come to you. I've seen your advertising for so many years, but I never had the nerve to make the phone call. Whereas they'll see me at an event and They'll talk to me about themselves, and it also benefits my clients that are in the elite program that I'm doing targeted recruiting for them because I might think of someone that's perfect for this particular man. So by me talking about it, talking about the program myself, and that perhaps I even have a few women that I think are great for him, the next day he wants to come in for an right. appointment. It, makes the, it facilitates the process a little bit for them. And, and I always what about... I always had about 1,200, 1,000 clients. Since I've been doing this now, it's over 1,500 clients. Oh, Just doing the targeted recruiting alone. Great. So there's more people to kind of match make. Yes. Uh, now tell me about incorporating the seminars and the workshops. Then. What are you doing yeah, with that? So in addition to just one-on-one -on -one matchmaking people, which again, we still have the whole basics that we do a criminal felony background check on everyone. We are only for nice, decent, quality, positive people. Everyone's looking for a committed relationship. So you still have all those core values in my existing program. But now, like I said, we're taking it a step further. So now I'm doing a lot with social media to help people. So mm -hmm. they could find me on my business Facebook, Instagram, my blogs that I write, Twitter, uh, Pinterest. Great. It sounds really um, wonderful. You know, um, all of those. Now, I know for a fact that um, you do a good job because I was a former client. Um, I always like that when, when the guy's talking about his hair and he goes, and I'm a former client. Yes. Um, but I really did work with Maureen and I found her to be um, an expert at what she does and she's really sweet and very caring. And I know that you actually turn people away. Like if you don't oh, think yes. you can help somebody, you're yes. like, this is not for you, yes. go somewhere else, but this is what you do. Right. Um, you give great tips. So I yes. wanted you to share some of your tips, even if people aren't clients, if they're just tuning in yes. now, like tell us some four tips for dating. Okay. So if you're going to start into the single world, whether you come to me or not, and I always recommend try dating on your own for six months, but follow these same four tips, okay. whether you come to me or not. So the first one is to always be at your emotional best. And what I mean by that is eventually when you're in a relationship, we all know you're going to eventually get to an intimate part of that relationship. So you need to be at that point that you have the confidence right now before you start dating, that if and when this intimate part of our relationship comes to fruition, that you're ready and prepared and confident for it. That's the cause of many breakups. I can imagine. If, if you've ever noticed right. people have gone out, they've had a wonderful sex life, and then all of a sudden, a week later, everything's ruined. Or maybe they're almost at that point of intimacy and they break up 
people are left wondering what has happened. What's happened is that person that you were dating did not take care of that issue first. So it has nothing to do with you. They just don't have the confidence to take it to that next level of intimacy. Hmm. So the first thing you do is work on yourself first if it means losing weight, whatever it is, so that when you can be intimate with that person, you're ready. And a good rule of thumb is walk in front of the mirror naked, and once you feel really confident doing that, then you're ready for that relationship. Well, for some people, I don't know if that's ever going to happen. But, but you know, it, but at look, least it's, it's a good try. It's a good try. There are size 14, right. 16 that right. can look in front of our mirror and look super curvy, super sexy. Absolutely. So, um, and let people know you're single. That's a really great one. It, but yes. not that you're single. Because you were saying yes. to me early in the green room, if you're single and you say I'm single, it could just set you up with a whole bunch of dates. Right. But it's different when you're actually looking for a committed relationship. Yes. So that's a great tip. And um, I like this one. Number three is smile. Tell us yes. about why you need to smile. Okay, well, as I always say, a smile is free, it's contagious, it makes the person feel good, but it makes you feel good too. So this is all about putting out the positive energy, and that's a good exercise to make us all feel positive by smiling more to people. Great, and what about looking your best? Okay, that's more of a physical matter, whereas the first one was emotionally being your best. Mm -hmm. This is more physically. Um, be great at dressing well. If you need some dating clothes, go out and get them. Do your makeup. Spend the extra effort in making yourself feel good, not for the other person, but for yourself. Because if you look in the mirror and if you feel great about yourself, that's what you're going to be presenting to that person. And you are a gift. You're giving yourself as a gift to that person. So you have to feel and look your best. Okay. And what are the do's and don'ts? You have some do's and don'ts here. Okay, so that's how to be a good dater. Okay. So you're on a first date. There are about nine do's and don'ts, and many people make mistakes with this. So okay. hopefully this will help everyone be a better dater. Here you go. Here you go, and here's the list. And you <laughs> yes. might want to get out a piece of paper and write yes. them down because this is free advice from the number one matchmaker. That's right. We've got Maureen Tara Nelson here from MTN Matchmaking. All right, you ready? Okay, here you go. Here's what all you need to know right here. Number nine, go. Okay. Number one is keep the date simple. An hour to two hours, that's it. Great, okay. number two? Number two, don't be a bragger. Listen and learn to what that person is saying. Your job on that date is not to talk about yourself. That person will get to know yourself by your actions. So find out more about that other person. Excellent, number three? Number three is find five great things about that person. All of us, we all make a mistake of thinking we have 20 things on our must-have list. No one's perfect. No one's going to have those 20 <laughs> things. And the biggest mistake is people will go on a date with someone. They'll see the five great things, but in their head they'll say, he doesn't have six, seven, and eight. I'm not going to go out with him again. Mm. Biggest mistake, people do it all the time. Focus on those five things so then when you do self-sabotage yourself, you'll revert back to finding the five great things and you'll realize what you are doing and you won't do it again. Uh, number four is be positive. So we've got that Absolutely. one kind of. That's easy. No negativity. Right. I can't make anyone that's negative successful. No. Never. No. They can get help from Gary Parks, but at exactly. the end of the day, they still have to have some bit of positivity. Exactly. Yes. Uh, number five, be a gentleman and a lady. Yes. That's so important. Opening up doors. Those little things men, sometimes they forget and they don't realize, but those little things, that's what counts the most. Okay. Number six. Number six is for men to always pay for the first three dates. And I get into a lot of trouble about that, but it really is important. And, of course, the ladies thank the men, but the next day, call, up, call them up on the phone and thank them personally for being so generous. Lovely. Uh, number seven, I like this one. Be attentive. No cell phones. No, that's something new. Okay. Uh, with this, you know, day and time of social media and Facebook and phones, leave it in the car. I have a heart surgeon that flies in for dates. He leaves his car in the car his phone in the car. So if he can do it, if he can devote an hour or two to just focusing on that person without a cell phone, everyone can. And number eight is uh, always give a second date. So if you don't like him always, on the first yes. one, give him another chance. Everyone is nervous and on that first date. And number nine, don't look for perfection. There you go. No one is perfect. I'm not perfect. You're not perfect. And people have that mistake that it's self-sabotaging too, that they're looking for perfection. But if you get back to the basics and realize that there's a million different things about each of our personalities, and that's the whole fun part about dating. Excellent. To recognize there's no perfection, but 
Look at how exciting it'll be to meet someone and get to know and unpeel the layers of finding someone's million different caveats of their personality. Fantastic. And in closing, I just want to let you know that Maureen Tara Nelson is now ready and looking. She's an empty nester herself. Yes. So if you would like a date with Maureen, you <laughs> can reach out to her directly or you can uh, reach out to us at uh, liveituptvshow at gmail.com. Thanks for watching and we hope you help, we helped you find love.